soy Jaime Wagner en Hilversum, Holanda, y esta es WRMI, Radio Miami Internacional, Okeechobee, Florida, Estados Unidos de América. Envíenos sus comentarios e informes de recepción a info arroba wrmi.net, apartado postal 52652, Miami, Florida, 33152, Estados Unidos de América. Третья година. Українське радіо. Триває війна з Росією. Кожен з нас на своєму місці може зробити свій внесок у перемогу. Приєднуйся до громадянського спротиву. Заходь на сайт Центру національного спротиву спротив.мод.gov.ua Ми перетворимо життя окупантів на пекло. Спротив.мод.gov.ua Ефір українського радіо продовжить програма англійською мовою. Ukraine security issue. As of April 30th, the 66th day of Russia's war against Ukraine, the Russian army had lost about 23.2 thousand troops and more than six and a half thousand armored vehicles, aircraft and other units of material. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said in its daily report that Russia's heaviest losses in the past 24 hours had been recorded in the area of Izum, Kharkiv region. According to the report, on Friday, Ukrainian national National Guards and artillery destroyed more than 30 armored vehicles and other pieces of heavy weaponry. The enemy forces again attacked Ukrainian positions in several areas, but all the attacks failed. The Russian troops continued to shell densely populated residential areas of Kharkiv with heavy artillery, causing civilian casualties and destructions. Since the start of the war against Ukraine, Russia has used more than 1.3 thousand missiles of various types and ranges, mostly Kaliber, Iskander, Tochka U and X-class missiles, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said on Saturday. Forbes Ukraine estimates their total wars at 7.5 billion US dollars at least. Practically all towns and villages located along the front line in the Donbass remain under constant fire. On Saturday, the Prosecutor General's Office reported dozens of massive artillery strikes in the Luhansk region over the past 24 hours, which again caused civilian casualties and destruction of dozens of private houses and department buildings. In the same region, Russian soldiers opened fire on two buses with civilian evacuees. Connection with the drivers and passengers were lost. In the Donetsk region, 12 towns and villages were struck by Russian bombs, artillery and tank shells and missiles. There were children among the civilian victims. A total of 219 Ukrainian children have already been killed in Russia's war and almost 400 have been wounded or injured, reads the report. More and more bodies of civilians tortured and killed by Russians are found in liberated towns and villages in the Kyiv region. According to Andriy Nebytov, chef of the Kyiv region department of the National Police, three male bodies were found in a pit in a village near the town of Bucha. The bodies had clear traces of long torture. There is a bullet hole in each man's ear. The murderers dumped the bodies into a pit and covered them with earth, Andriy Nebytov said. Each body had a piece of cloth on the a band on the eyes and rope on the wrists tied behind the back. The men must have been tortured for a long time because their clothes were soaked with blood. Unfortunately, it's impossible to identify these civilians because their faces were disfigured by torture. This is yet another crime committed by Russian soldiers in the district where more than a thousand civilians were shot and tortured to death, said Kyiv region police chef Andriy Nebytov. According to official data, forensic experts have examined more than 1,200 bodies of civilians in the Kyiv region. More than 7,000 people are missing. The situation in the blocked Azov port city of Mariupol remains extremely complicated. Having occupied its larger part, the Russian troops keep bombing, shelling and storming the Azov Stahl steel plant, the last stronghold of the Ukrainian defenders. There are more than a thousand civilians and several hundred wounded Ukrainian soldiers in the plant basements, all desperately waiting and appealing for help. 
The world is ready to help save the unfortunate people. But Russia rejects all appeals. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the president's office, had said on Saturday. According to him, the Ukrainian leadership, as well as political leaders and public figures from different countries, constantly appeal to Russian President Vladimir Putin, but get no response. From the very first day of invasion, the Russian occupiers terrorize, abduct and kill peaceful Ukrainians, destroy civilian infrastructure and block Ukrainian grain exports, said Taras Vysotsky, Deputy Minister of Agrarian Policy and Food. They empty Ukrainian granaries and take grain to Russia. They have taken almost all stocks of grain from the occupied parts of the Kherson, Zaporizhia and Donetsk regions, he said. There was only grain for local consumption. There were no strategic stocks. All stocks were accumulated and stored in other regions, which are now controlled by Ukraine. So removing all grain stored for local consumption is sheer genocide. It must be understood that the Russians aim to exterminate the local population and deliver heavy blows of Ukraine's economy, said Taras Vysotsky, Deputy Minister of Agrarian Policy and Food. In the temporary occupied city of Melitopol, the Parisia region, the Russians plan to activate the operation of the Asberbank using their resources and premises of Ukraine's Oshchatbank. They intend to circulate the Russian currency ruble in all the areas under their control. As we have reported, Russian troops occupied Melitopol two months ago and days later abducted Mayor Ivan Fedorov. Later, he was released from captivity. Now, all exits from Melitopol are blocked and the Russians intend to first mobilize its residents. Meanwhile, in the occupied Crimean Peninsula, the Russian Federal Security Service is forcing Crimean Tatars to gather for a so-called Congress. According to MP Rifat Shubaro, chairman of the Crimean Tatar Majlis, this way Moscow wants to create an image of Crimean Tatars' support of Russia and its war against Ukraine. I have information that they plan to forcefully gather students, teachers and other government-funded employees, Rifat Shubaro. Set. Украинское радио. Стежимо за новинами цілодобово. Перебіряємо, повідомляємо.